What's up guys? So a friend of mine told me the other day that I like to ramble some uh, when I'm talking to the camera, uh, which he was correct. I did have, I was making a video the other day about, um, about this. This is my Glock 19 Gen 4. I've had this for seven, five, six, seven years. I uh, put a lot of rounds through this and I was making a video on it the other day and I, I said Glock. People hating on Glocks, not hating on Glock, Glock, Glock. I think Glocks are great. Glock all the way. Glock, because I'm clear, I've been using a Glock. Glock, Glock, Glock. Glock triggers, uh, that's the whole point. They're Glock triggers, they're not, uh, Nice. Uh, I don't even know how many times in the video. So I decided just to sit and do a quick, honest review of the Gen 4 versus the Gen 5 Glock. Try not to say that anymore. So, why I don't have a Gen 5? Uh, I, I, my buddy's had one for a while. I shot it quite a bit. And I, I was just always on the fence on, on do I buy one? And I, I, the reason I stuck with this model was I didn't see any, I didn't see any clear difference. Uh, nothing stood out for me to to want to go buy one. Uh, and I'm a little bit disappointed. I've seen a lot of videos of people saying. Oh, it's the best Glock ever, blah, 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 blah. It's twice I said it. Mm -hmm. And I just, I don't, I don't see what they're talking about. The trigger wasn't updated enough. Um, yeah, they put some slide serrations in the front. Okay, cool. Um, all kinds of guns do that. They did, made this a little bit more rounded, the front of the slide, to help get into holsters easier, which like, come on guys. The slide release, which is not a slide release on this firearm. I'm not gonna say Glocks on this firearm, uh, but it is, it's, it's, it's basically a slide release. Um, yeah, it's ambidextrous for the Gen 5 and the, they have flared magwells. That's it. That's, I, I don't understand what the hype is. I've shot one a lot. I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you the difference between a four and a five. There, I, I don't see that big of a difference. Yeah, the, the trigger's basically the same. I, I, I don't understand what the hype is. So I'm not bashing, I'm not bashing the, these firearms. I, I carry these because you pick this up and you take it out of your holster, it's gonna work every time. You point this down range, it's gonna work. And that's why I carry this gun. But between a four and a five, there's not that much difference. I don't know what the hype is. All you haters are probably gonna blow up in the comment section, which is fine. Uh, please do, um, prove me wrong. I, I don't think you'll be able to. Again, I'm not bashing these. I'm just not that impressed with the Gen 5 series. There wasn't enough updates. So if you have a Gen 4 and you've been thinking about do I upgrade to a Gen 5, I recommend you don't. I'm actually planning on getting rid of, not getting rid of this. I am planning on switching this out with another pistol for everyday carry. I'm thinking of the Walter PDP Compact. That's really caught my eye. They've made some good upgrades from the previous version of that. Uh, H&Ks are making amazing, amazing pistols right now. So I'm kind of debating on one of those. Walter has, the new PDP has one of the best triggers like to hit the, mar hit, to hit the market. So that's a big one. But 
yeah, I think I'm kind of, I'll always shoot Glock. I'll, I'll always have one. I'll always shoot them. I'll carry them. But I'm just a little bit not enthused about them really anymore. I'm just kind of, I just don't get that tingly feeling, you know, um, from them. They're just, they're great. They're a great tool, but there's more exciting ones I feel out there that I could be carrying and also shooting every day. So that's my honest review. I'm not bashing them at all. I am just, I've lost the tingle for them. I've lost that fizz. I've lost that, that drive. They're just not that exciting to me anymore. She's lost that loving feeling. She's like, no, she hasn't. Yes, yeah, she, she has. She has not lost that look. Goose, she's lost it, Matt. Come on. I hate it when she does that. Kind of boring. So, honest review. All you glockers out there. Again, I'm not trying to bash you. They're a great firearm. I'm just, uh, I'm just moving on from them, I think. So, uh, TBD on what I'm looking at next, or what I'm gonna be purchasing next. I'm leaning towards the, the Walter. So, we'll see. Uh, upcoming video in the future with that. Uh, that'll piss the wife off too, because I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go buy one of those and she's not gonna be happy. But, this one has, this one is also at the end of its life and this thing is like seven years old. So, uh, and I would have had a, again, Gen 5, but don't want it, don't need it. <sighs> Moving on. So that's my quick, honest review. Didn't want to ramble on anymore, I rambled on in the other video and I was, I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna make a quick video and just talking about these. So yeah, that's my honest opinion. Like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below, and all you Glock lovers out there, I'll be waiting to hear some of the hate coming my way. Uh, if you have any questions or an advice, any advice on if you have like a Walter PDP, please let me know how you like it. Uh, maybe the HK, some of the newer ones, let me know. Those are some of the ones I'm looking at. So if you have those, please comment below and help me kind of decide because I'm kind of, I'm a little bit torn. Again, leaning towards the Walter, but um, I want all the toys, but the toys are expensive. So please leave a comment below. Great gun. No fizz. Thanks guys. Oh, <laughs> nice.